Hello, my name is uh, Gary Thomas. I work for Caltrans, the Office of Structural Materials, and that's an office within METS, which is, stands for Material Engineering Testing Services. Where are we going today? We're going to go out to Bay 14 and 13 and kind of take a loop around the uh, trial assembly. How often does it snow here? You know, I've been here for probably a, a cumulative of four months. This is my second stint. I've been here a month this past year. It's, it's the, third, the third or fourth day that I've seen it snow in Shanghai. Last year in 09, it snowed, light snow. And uh, on December 13th, of, no, 14th of this year, uh, on my second trip here, it snowed and I think it snowed twice, one day last week and, and this week. So It doesn't I, stick though. It doesn't stick, it doesn't stick. So this is probably today in Shanghai coming in, it was the most snow that I've, that I've seen out here. Where'd you grow up? Actually, I grew up in a small town in uh, Louisiana, uh, about 20 miles outside of Baton Rouge, which is about a total of 100 miles west of New Orleans. So I'm a country boy. You're a country boy. <laughs> yes, I am. You're a country boy living in China right now. I uh, never would have thought in the 100 years I'll, I'll be working here and living here for this, uh, for this project. I um, figured I would do some travel, but never spend this significant amount of time in China. How did it happen? Well, uh, working with, with METS, uh, the Office of Structural Materials, part of our role there is to make sure that the fabricators are producing the products in accordance to the specs. So basically, we don't want a product to show up on a job site and then we inspect it. We want to be involved in the process to make sure that uh, they're performing the necessary QC testing and, and uh, fabricating the product in accordance to the spec. So, so they're doing it right, so you want to watch them as exactly. they do it Exactly, so basically. we go out to different places. In this case, we're here at DPMC. We're basically, uh, uh, our <coughs> we're consultants to construction. Who wouldn't want to be a part of this marquee project? I mean, it's the Bay Bridge, right? Well, it looks like these are some of the DPMC workers. And they're going to work? And it looks like they're Either they're, they're, they're checking out for, for it's lunchtime, so they've got their carts ready for the, for the lunch migration. So they found their carts just like a typical American shop. They're coming in and uh, finding their cart and, and stamping out for lunch. So you can see the sheer numbers of folks that our guys, our inspectors, work with on a day-to-day -day basis. And uh, you know, there's communication challenges, so uh, it's great that we do have English and Chinese Mandarin speaking staff on board. Uh, so that's been, I guess, a real big challenge. Can you imagine working with, with someone where you, you, you got that gap? But some kind of way, our guys have uh, stepped up to, to the plate. I was born in June of 1967. I, I grew up yeah. from a single parent household. Uh, my mother, she, she raised uh, uh, four kids. Myself, I'm the next to the youngest. I have two brothers and one sister, a younger brother, the oldest in the family, my brother, and then I have a sister that's three years older than I. I, I grew up not knowing my dad, but at, at age 35, uh, my dad and I met. And For the first time? First time, yeah. What so, was that like? Oh, gosh, it's, it's probably hard to explain here on camera, but it, it's a mix of emotions that you can't, it's hard to describe. Uh, my, my father in 66, 67, uh, after I was conceived, my, him and my mother was dating in college, I guess, and, and I was conceived. He went to Vietnam and he came back and he went back on another tour and then he disappeared. So uh, basically he, he decided a different course in life. And through technology, I was just curious. I ended up finding him on the internet, and we ended up talking, and we ended up meeting, and it was a little rough at first. And, and, but you know, we're, you're, you're, you're talking to two grown men at this point in time, and, and um, I was just getting ready to get married, I think, when we met. And um, you know, we decided to try to move forward as, uh, as adults. 
And, uh, but for some reason that we, we don't have a great relationship and, you know, I'm not a, upset with the uh, relationship that, that we don't have. It's a little disappointing, but, you know, life moves on. So I, I you know, I can't miss what I hadn't had. Uh, I grew up in Zachary. I went to the same high school, it was elementary, middle school, high school, lumped in one. And then at, in 1981, through a, this, this order from this judge, this federal judge, we integrated with other, two other schools. So I went to a predominantly black high school and we had other uh, folks came in from another uh, predominantly white high school. And we had another high school that was a mixture. So we, we, co we joined together and, and we, uh, I was at the first graduating class from that state order. So it had its challenges at that time, but uh, it worked out, you know, it worked out well. I was happy I was a part of that. Still keep in contact through Facebook, through a lot of my classmates, both black and white. So coming to California in 91, where we didn't do a lot of socializing with folks that didn't look like you. So coming to California was great because I got a chance to learn about different cultures. And outside of, you know, white, it was, you know, Asians, uh, Hispanics, folks from the Middle East. I mean, with Caltrans, it was a big melting pot. So that was, that was great. So uh, I'm glad I had my mother I, I instilled good principles with me. And, and on my first project, I was working on the, uh, another big project at that time was demolishing the Embarcadero Freeway. Right after the earthquake. Yeah, right after the earthquake. They were, they were it was a high profile project a uh, very sensitive project. They had had issues, you know, uh, prior to me coming on to the project. I came on at the last leg of the project with Superstructures, I think, was the, was the, was the contractor. My, uh, my uh, first line supervisor at the time was Mr. Andy Vermeer. And uh, um, he had his challenges, but he did a great job, obviously. We, we got the bridge down and uh, without uh, incident, and uh, now you look at the that Embarcadero corridor. I go down there, and I'm like, "Wow, we we did a, you know, that was a great service to get that bridge down and and give the the waterfront back to the city of San Francisco." And right now things are going great. So, uh, you know, my next uh, visit back home I think is in February. Of course, I miss my wife, and she misses me. But uh, you know, my daughter and I we're very close. We're close knit family, but. Uh, we did a lot of day-to-day -day stuff, and uh, we, we don't want my, we didn't want this assignment to affect her in school or in any other way. And so far, it's been great. Uh, you know, we talk every day when we could Skype. We could Skype, but right now, they, we've been told to back up off of Skyping because of the issues with the Chinese government. So uh, that really helped being able to have that video image and communicate to see them every day. What do you think of China? I think China is a great place. It's different. There is a, there's a lot of difference, but then there's a lot of similarities. I mean, you find out that people are the same. Basically, people that you know they, they love their families. Um, they get up, they go to work. They you know they love life. They love their jobs. Uh, uh, so those those are some of the you know, similarities and then the differences is like, you know, some of the cultural differences. Uh, some are funny for me. I don't, you know, I'm, I'm very careful on, you know, how I, I, I like to laugh and, you know, and, and certain things are just funny to me. Uh, you know, I did notice that some of the Chinese, they, 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 they do spit a lot. <laughs> you know, uh, uh, their, their language is a, uh, is a, little wordy, you know, and you know, it's, it's a lot of inflection and so you hear their voices raising up, they seem like they're fussing, but they're actually maybe complimenting each other or something like that. So, I, you know, I find that funny. Uh, certain little things, I see, you know, mothers and daughters of all different ages, they're, they're walking around in downtown Shanghai hand to hand. I see guys walking hand to hand. In America, you, you, you get a second look in most places. But here, it's you know they they're genuinely affect have great affection for one another. I'm very lucky to be part of this team. I'm gonna take this 
this opportunity and, and, and embrace it and, and try to do the best job I can do as, a, as being a, a part of the team.